Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is topic 16 of the extension series. The topic is One No Trump Puppet Statement. This topic uses the methods discussed in the previous two topics. Topic 14 showed you how to use a puppet stamen bid of three clubs in response to a two no trump opening by partner. And topic 15 showed you how to use three way transfers in response to a one no trump opening by partner. If you haven't seen those videos, I suggest you watch them before continuing with this one. Links to them are in the description. Topic 14 explained that after partner opens to no trump, your bidding system can use three clubs as regular stamen or puppet stamen, but not both. This is not the case after partner opens one no trump. You can use two clubs for regular stamen and three clubs for puppet stamen. Of course, if you are using three clubs for puppet stamen, that will impact your transfer bids. You can't bid three clubs as a transfer to diamonds, so you can't use four-way transfers. As you saw in topic 15, this means that you need to use three-way transfers instead. After partner opens with two no trump, puppet stamen solves a problem with the standard bidding system. It helps you find a 5-3 major suit fit when partner opens to no trump with a 5 card major. It can do the same after partner opens one no trump with a 5 card major. Let's look at an example. This is board EG1. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 10 high card points and one long point for a total of 11 points. Your only short suit is a doubleton, so your hand is balanced. And your only biddable suit is diamonds. Partner opens the bidding with one no trump. And East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows 15 to 17 high card points and a balanced hand. You add your 11 points to partner's minimum of 15 for a total of 26 points. This is enough for a game contract. You apply the standard rules for responding to one no trump. With no four card major, you bid three no trump. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. The contract is three no trump by north. East makes the opening lead. It's the six of hearts. East has led your short suit. You realise that if partner doesn't have a solid stopper, you could be in trouble. Partner calls for your eight of hearts. West plays the king and partner plays the five. West wins the trick and leads the two of hearts. Partner plays the queen of hearts and East plays the ace. Your jack is played to the trick. East has won the trick. Your only hope is that partner has the ten of hearts. But alas, East leads the ten of hearts. You know that if partner had any other heart, it would have been played on the second trick instead of the queen. Your partnership has no more hearts and your contract is doomed. Your opponents will win at least five tricks in hearts alone. Let's go back and see if this loss could be avoided. 
after partner opens one no trump and east passes, you know you have enough points for a game contract. You also know that if partner has a five card spade suit, you can play a spade contract. You make a puppet stamen bid of three clubs. West passes. Partner applies the response rules for puppet stamen, which you saw in topic 14. Partner bids three spades. And East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows a five card spade suit. This is exactly what you are looking for. You have a fit in spades and enough points for game. You bid four spades. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. The contract is four spades by north. This is a far better contract. Your weakness in hearts will probably cost you two tricks, but that will not defeat your contract. By using Puppet Stamen, you have avoided the three no trump contract. It's important to know when to use Puppet Stamen. Here are my two guidelines. First, you must have 10 or more points to ensure you can play at the game level. And second, you must have the correct major suit shape. Let's look at that in more detail. The purpose of Puppet's Damon is to find a 5-3 fit with partner's 5-card major suit. For this to be possible, you must have a 3-card major suit. As you can see, this was the case in the example board. But with a three card major suit and a long major suit of five or more cards, I recommend you transfer into your long major instead. With the hand shown here, you would bid two diamonds to transfer to hearts. As I mentioned earlier, with puppet stamen over one no trump, you can use regular stamen with hands that don't meet the puppet requirements. Regular stamen should be used for two types of hands. Hands with a four card major and eight or nine points, even if they also have a three card major. You can't use puppet stamen with less than 10 points. And hands with a four card major and no three card major, even if they have 10 or more points. In topic 14, you saw that Puppet Stamen over two no trump had a weakness. It let us down slightly when you had four or more cards in both majors. This is not a problem with Puppet Stamen over one no trump. As you have just seen, you do not use Puppet Stamen unless you have exactly three cards in a major suit. I have one important note for you regarding Puppet Stamen over one no trump. As you learned in topic 14, all Puppet Stamen bids are artificial and therefore alertable. This applies over both one no trump and two no trump. I find Puppet's Damon over one no trump extremely useful. It fits perfectly with opening one no trump with a five card major. I give it my highest recommendation for inclusion in your bidding system when you are ready. This video looked at how and when to use the Puppet Stamen response after partner opens one no trump. It explained how this fits with regular Stamen and with transfer bids. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, 
This is Chad reminding you that bridge is for everyone.